Very much. Minister, can I just say to you there, you said at the outset it's a little bit early. Well, I can tell you from anybody living in Cavan or Monaghan, it's never too early to start shouting for counties who are on the, uh, on the border and in the border area. Brexit has, is looming large. It's very much in the hearts and minds of everybody uh, in the constituency, and particularly in the small and medium uh, enterprise section, and obviously the agri sector as well. We have Lakeland dairies in the heart of the constituency, from Kilishandra to Loch Agish to Bailabra, massive, massive of industry um, and thousands of gallons of milk coming from the north into the south and being processed in our constituency. Now I can tell you the roads are being hammered, absolutely hammered. We've suffered significant losses of almost 50% since 2008 in what our local authority has to spend on our local roads. We've had absolutely no expenditure on LIS scheme and I would ask you Minister, it is not too early to start flying the flag for the border counties. Minister, final response. Okay, it's just the detail isn't known. I, I take your point, and I know that the border counties are certainly feeling, feeling, feeling the pinch already, particularly on trade, and particularly as Deputy Smith and yourself have referred to SMEs. And I take, I take that point, and I think it's, it obviously has to have a knock-on effect on the infrastructure and the roads as well. Um, my department has submitted its proposals for the current capital review. Clearly, the final review will be decided by the Minister for PER and Government. However, a number of possible investments impacting on the border region have been considered in the submission. In identifying projects, projects I considered a range of factors, including congestion, regional development, and the wider development context. For example, if the A5 proceeds as planned, the N2 links to the A5 from Monaghan will need to be improved, and this was factored in. Similarly, current IDA Island plans for investment in Sligo require investment in regional and local roads. Projects which had cleared planning were also factored in, for example, the RD bypass on the N2 in Louth and Licking Monaghan to Dublin.